Hello, we're back again, Lutra FM, with a new series for TW9. Um, basically, what happened was I got burnt out playing TW and also Football Manager. I just got burnt out doing content creating, so I took a, a bit of time off, and, um, and I'm back today. So um, basically, it's a brand new series. It's not going to be Fight Club Pro. I'm going to I'm offline. I'm going to start a new um, local to global challenge with Fight Club Pro. Um, to get better at playing the game and this one will be basically starting from scratch i'm going to be starting at my own uh wrestling promotion in chicago called second city wrestling and that is a bit of a tribute to obviously chicago but also the second city saints which was a stable consisting of cm punk colt cabana and a steel hopefully we can bring one or if not three of them into the promotion at some point even if they're road agents or just staff members, they probably won't be able to be wrestling for us. We'll probably retire by that point. But, you know, we can wish and hope, can't we? So we're just going to start a new series with this Chicago-based uh, wrestling promotion that I've created. And we're going to start it as local to global on rock hard level as well. Also, moving forward, when it comes to doing TW stuff, you're not going to see my face. It just... I've watched other TW content creators. Um, shout out to Curb Stomp City. He does a very good series on TW9. Give it a watch at the moment. He's the one, the reason why I'm doing content again because he's reinvigorated me and inspired me to do it. So I'm going to try and replicate what he's done basically. And so it's on rock hard level. Um, and that's that really. So let's start it. So we're just going to add it, the game here. Um, I did a bit of a test save, and on my test save, when I did it as Fight Club Pro, I had an issue, because um, I had KSI as my avatar, and literally he started with a zero um, pounds contract, and then after the first month, he ended up costing me 40 grand, so 40,000 pounds, so yeah, so not uh, not happy about that. So obviously I asked a few people, thank you to the people who helped me with figuring that out and managed to figure out that it was because of his popularity and that's the reason. So I'm on this one I'm going to be picking um, a wrestler that's not very well known. Um, well he is well known to a point, his name is Cliff Compton. Um, he wrestled WWE as Domino in the Deuce and Domino um, tag team many years ago and also he was in ring of honor for a bit as well so i'm going to use him mostly because he's from well he's either from chicago or near chicago he's in the great lakes area which is where chicago is based sorry if that just blew your eardrums i'm going to sort that out quickly now um bear with us there we go sorry about that All right so that's that so we're going to be cliff compton this is the preferences I've put on here. Um, I'll just leave it here for a few seconds so you can have a quick look. I'm trying to make it as hard as possible, but not like to the point where it's just driving me mad. Um, but yeah, we're going to play as him. His popularity isn't too bad. It's only like 10. I mean, he's 20 in Chicago, but that's um, Tri-State, but everywhere else he's 10. Um, so hopefully it will let us um, start the challenge properly i only want to i want to start with a budget of two and a half thousand like on the other one but then on other ones when i've started it they give me twenty five thousand to start with which i don't want so worst comes to worst i'll just edit it and in, in the in-game editor and go from twenty five thousand to um two and a half thousand anyway we're going to start as unemployed like so we'll leave them as it is and then what we're going to do start our own wrestling promotion so first of all i'm going to show you the logo I made uh, yesterday so there you go I don't know which one you prefer there's that one or there's that one I think this one's better because you can see the writing more but these two bits here are the Chicago flag and then the bit in the middle where the text is over is actually a photo of the Chicago um, city so I thought that was pretty cool and then I've got to do the same for this um, Chicago there we go. So that will be doing that. That one's small writing, um, but it doesn't matter. Right, so we're going to call it Second City Wrestling. And then we'll just call it SCW for short. 
um, scw.com and then home arena will leave us none for now and then what we're doing for the schedule is we're just going to have tv or monthly so for now it's just going to be one show a month and then what we're going to do is have it on rock hard level so we start with two and a half thousand that's good right and then the product i haven't figured out what product i'm going to have yet so this will be interesting we start at the beginning here i want it to be like a bit of a brawler area because like um chicago is known for tough to be tough so maybe like something to do with brawling and maybe like a mma type of thing i don't know but i need to actually i need to go on here first to read the description so then we'll go through a few of these products until we find the one that i'm happy with um so that one is sports entertainment which is not really what i'm looking for we don't want the nerd nirvana one uh, mildly, mildly toned down version of extreme hardcore this style still involves a, a punkish anti-establishment attitude and cult-like mentality but more varied in in-ring approach that isn't narrowly obsessed with bloody brawls that might be what i want let's have a look though so we'll read this first um, fans will expect events to be 85 percent matches and 15 percent angles which is good TV shows is 75% matches and 25% angles. That's not so good. I don't like doing angles, if I'm honest with you. Um, matches are rated on match quality versus popularity ratio between 40 to 60 and 60 to 40, depending on what gets the best rating. The hardcore style leads to a high level of general wear and tear on the bodies of the workers. Injuries are common. Um, the fans are open-minded and accept match, any match type. Matches less than 10 minutes will not be able to achieve the world-class scores. Um, it's sort of what I wanted, but not. So we're going to keep going. Attitude Entertainment, no. Avant-garde, no. Barroom, ah, there we go. That might be it. Designed to appeal to adult audience, primarily to barrooms. Matches tend to either be full-on comedy or... No, actually, no. Um... British, no. Calvary, no. Campy Fun, no. Carnival Days, no. Cartoon Wrestling, no. Cats Wrestling, no. Classic Balance, no. Uh, ooh, maybe that one. The wrestling that is closely associated with the 70s and 80s in su uh, Southern USA. Professional wrestling being real but larger than my characters and story. Mm, maybe. 90% matches and 10% angles, but then 70% matches and 30% angles. That's put me off straight away. So we'll leave that one. Classic Wild West. This is the sort of wrestling that was very popular in Texas in the 1980s. So we'll have a look. 70%. See, I don't like the fact... I mean, I'm not doing any TV shows at the moment, so it's not an issue, but... Um, I don't know what comic book, book is, so we'll leave that. Competitive Entertainment? No. Trash TV? Um... Hmm, maybe. Let's have a look at this one. No, definitely not. 40% matches and 60% angles. That you, you can jog on, mate. Uh, East meets West. So, taking the work rate and hard-hitting matches in Japan and adding it with the gimmicks and entertainment. No. Uh, epic Story Plus Oa, no. Episode Entertainment. What's the... No. I want one with high matches and low angles, if I'm honest with you. <coughs> Epic Sodic Wild West, no. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, no, Exodus. Uh, no, we're not doing anything j Japanese for this save. Extreme Hardcore? Mm -hmm. uh, mm, no, I think it might be a bit too much. Right, let's keep going. Fast and Furious, Jenny Soto with small wrestlers is fairly serious, no. Fast, Furious, and Deadly. This is da, 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 da. just reading it. There's no point in reading it out loud because I'm probably not going to go with it. Um, talk some MMA. What the hell does that mean? A work shoot environment. Oh, okay. No. Golden Age Pro Wrestling. No. Gory Hardcore. No. Grindhouse. No. Gritty Adult Noir. Um. So like an adult TV drama based around storytelling character work, generally used a lot of angles. No, I don't want that one. Guerrilla Warfare, star focused on fast paced, move heavy, high quality matches, but has a big dose of humour in it now. 
Hardcore Evolved. This takes the ethos of hardcore wrestling but removes the more uh, immature parts such as obsession with blood and sex and aesthetics. The in-ring aspect with a lot more seriousness. It's still an edgy alternative to the vein of anti-establishment hardcore but growing up a bit. Mm, getting closer but not uh, exactly what I want. Hokey Southern Wrestling. Uh, no. Junior Deathmatch. Lighthearted Entertainment, Lighthearted Lucha, Lucha Crash TV. Just leave anything with Lucha on it for now. Uh, Mimetic Wrestling, almost bordering on a parody of professional wrestling. This style is about such a uh, logical, erratic humour and larger than life comedic characters. Angles and skits feature heavily and just as important. It's uh, more so than the matches with tongue firmly in cheek a lot of the content is designed to gain traction and social on social media no mm entertainment modern throwback what's that like no i wish i could search for one where i can just put like 90 percent matches it would make it easier monster battle uh, no morality wrestling there's so many bloody product types here it's very frustrating to figure out what one i want i want something like a brawl in with a with a bit of uh you know characters and stuff like that and i just want it to be mostly matches with a bit of angles um no style style that might be probably the best no because the no style style annoys me because you have to have 25 percent angles so no we're not doing that uh psycho circus a fairly modern phenomenon this is effectively a freak show circus act to say hardcore wrestling dark uh, direction while giving heavy on uh, going heavy on blood gore and horror show aspects whilst still retaining the gimmicks and sportsmanship associated with the entertainment aspects of pro wrestling uh no funk rock lucha hmm no rainbow entertainment no rainbow hardcore respect wrestling uh wrestling is treated very seriously with emphasis on high quality matches but some angles to go right hmm. we're, getting, we're getting closer with this one but um, I want it to be, hmm, can, uh, can, right, let me just, let me read a bit more here. Fans will be upset by dangerous, controversial, or blood. Nah, see, we were getting closer until that happened. Right. Uh, ruthless aggression, no. Sand ring circus, no. Shoot style wrestling, no. Silver age pro wrestling. Uh, 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 uh. Skip base, no. Slob enough. Ooh, that might be the one. Right, designed for heavy hitters, though there's no reason why it can't be adopted to smaller workers. Um, this is all about workers just going toe-to-toe -to -toe and hitting each other with, ah, there we go. This might be more than one. This is probably what I'm looking for. So it's 90% matches and 10% angles, and then 80%. Yeah, this is definitely what I want. Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to go with that. Finally, we got there in the end. Um, so we just need to change this to Slobberknocker. And I'm going to call it Second City. Um, we won't have any face or heels. Everybody's the same, basically. We won't. I will have a weight division because I'm thinking of having a junior heavyweight title. Stables, yes. Managers, yes. In fact, we'll have stables and is integral um what we'll do is we'll do free ring circus so it's not just focus on the main match we'll go consistent and then ai style we'll just do variety and then what we'll do is we'll have a medium women's division with that as well right so that's that right so we're all sorted um so first things first is I need to do a couple of things before I start hiring anybody. So we'll go ticket prices. So I've been given some great advice by people um, to get my popularity up as quickly as possible. I need to set the tickets as free. Now obviously it will give us a bit of a financial dent, but it will help us rise quicker. So hopefully that will work out better for us in the long run, but we'll see. I can always change it. And then what we'll do is I'm trying to think what else have I got to do. Um, something I hit merchandise. I've got to upgrade merchandise straight away. So that's that done. Right, so now we've got to hire people. So what I'm going to do is get the right 
Um, actually, I'll be back in a sec. Right, sorry about that, I had a phone call. Um, right, so first things first is we need to get the staff in place. So we're gonna do, the wrestlers are gonna be the last thing we look at. So we'll go road agent first. We don't necessarily need to have a road agent. We could get the wrestlers to double up as road agent, but I just wanna see what's out there. So what we need to do is based in, because they need to be local. So we are in the Great Lakes area. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. And then what we'll do is we'll just click search on here. So these are our options. Um, in fact, actually I need to do, I oh know actually, no, I'll leave it. Um, yeah, so we've got Ace Steel. He only wants 40 pounds a week. Uh, per show, sorry. So we're doing it on a written contract, so that way you can't ask for a pay rise, but I don't think, actually I'll use my template, I don't think um, road agents ask for, oh no, he's going to be a wrestler as well, so there you go. So we'll just put events and Ace shows only, so we can have Ace Steel as one of our wrestlers, as well as our road agents, which is great. Alison Danger, she wants too much, so we won't be going with that. Um... Obviously, I'm already Cliff Compton, so he can double up as a road. He is a colour commentator and a road agent, so that's good. Colt Cabana wants too much money. In fact, I'm going to add Colt Cabana to the shortlist. Uh, Dan Severin wants too much money, but we'll add him just in case we can get him one day. Danny Daniels would be pretty good. Um, unfortunately, we can't get him, but we'll add him to the shortlist in case he leaves. Ian Rotten, I don't want to hire that piece of SHIT. Um... Nick Dinsmore, oh, that'd be an interesting one to have. So we can have him in as a wrestler and a road agent. Um, again, he is getting on a bit, so we can only use him for certain shows. But we don't do B shows or house shows at the moment, so it's not an issue. Um, never heard of Reed Bentley. Let's see what he's like. Um, psychology is okay. Experience is pretty good. Respect is not very good. Reputation is very good. We'll hire him. He won't be here for it. Once we can get better road agents in, we'll probably get rid of him, but he'll he'll do for now. That's that. So that's him. Ricky Shane Page. Um, he wants a bit too much, but I'm trying not to hire anybody over a hundred dollars a week, uh, per show. So maybe that'll change eventually. Rip Bison. Let's have a look at him. So he has okay psychology pretty good experience okay respect and very good reputation similar to reed bentley so we'll bring him in um actually what am i doing i'm just thinking i've got too many bloody road agents as this right that'll do um we're going a bit crazy already we could hire davari he is with wwe so we will hire him so i mean if we got nick dinsmore davari and uh, Cliff Compton and Ace Steel as our road agents were doing pretty good to be honest that is because they can double up as wrestlers as well Simon Dean he could be a wrestler as well because I'd probably hire these as wrestlers uh, as well as road agents so it kind of helps us it's not an added wage because I've hired them anyway right so now what we're doing is referee let's see which referees are available we're only going to hire one or two referees Brian Gorey will hire Right, so we'll hire him. Chad Patton, former WWE. I know he wants too much, but I will add him. Um, let's have a look. John Kone wants too much, but we'll add him to the shortlist. Mickey Knuckles could be a referee. She could also double up as a wrestler as well. So that's handy. So we'll definitely bring her in. I think that's it really. I don't think we need to. Todd Sinclair. We could bring in Todd Sinclair. Right, so that's the referees done. There we go. That's the referees done. Right, so now we need to uh colour commentator. We've already got Cliff Compton to be a colour commentator. AJ Mendes, she wants too much money, but we will add her. Alison Danger wants too much money, but we'll add it to the shortlist just in case. 
Colt and Banner, again, wants too much money. Nick uh, Hazeman, I've never heard of him. Halsman. Vic Cavoni, both want too much money. So we'll leave it because we've already got Cliff Conson who can be uh, ring announcer, um, sorry, colour commentator. We've got Dave Prazak who wants too much money. He wants too much, ah, that's annoying. Um, right, well, we don't necessarily need a announcer for now. We can leave it. I'm just seeing if there's anybody else. Uh, we could always put a steal as a announcer. I can have a look on my roster to see if there's anybody who can double up as an announcement. Announcer, let's try manager. I only want to get one or two in. Obviously, a steal can be a manager. Uh, Julia Hart, we could no, she wants too much money, but she is from Chicago, so we will add her. Uh, never heard of any of these. Maria wants too much money, but we will add her as well. Mark Sterling, we'll add him. Uh, she'd be good as a wrestler and a manager, so we'll just do that. The Wee Man, no. Violent J, no. We won't hire any ICP. Uh, Vita Van Star, she'd probably be a good manager. I think I think I remember her from Ring of Honor. Right, so that's the managers done. Uh, right, let's look at wrestlers. So what we'll do first is we'll go male wrestlers first it's quite a few so we need to i want to hire young ones preferably but we might have trouble with that ace perry he'd be pretty good he's quite young he's got some good he's got really good basics and everything else fundamental physical pretty good flashiness um yeah i think we should hire him right status how much does he want 40 pounds there you go $40, $40, sorry. I keep forgetting American uh, game. All right, so that's him signed. Adam Revolver, I remember him many years ago. Adam Steele, Akira, Akira. Alex Shelley would be pretty good, but obviously we can't sign him just yet. Oh, I just, I forgot to change this to, to that one. Um, yeah, I'll just put to hire, and then offline what I'll do is I'll add a few wrestlers that we can't hire. So let's go back. We've got uh, Atias Kuga. Koga, sorry, I apologise. Uh, August Matthews is young as well. Let's have a look at his skills. Uh, no, actually, we'll leave him. He's too old. Blake Christian would be pretty good. He wants too much money, though. That's a shame. Right. Bobby Beverly, never heard of him. Let's have a look. Um, no, we'll leave him for now. If we get really nitpicky, we'll, we'll hire him, but um, he could potentially be a good prospect. Right, so we'll hire him. Braden Lee, never heard of him. Has he got good skills? Um, he's all right, but we'll leave him for now. Da -da -da. The... I'm going to call him Bastard Cassidy. What's he like? Yeah, he's got potential as well, so we'll hire him. What we could do is, the young stars, we could um, have them feud with the experienced ones like Ace Steel and that. Calvin Tantler would have been a really good one, but he unfortunately out of our price range. Cheech would probably be a pretty good one to hire as an experienced head. So we'll hire him. So it's going to be like a combination of experienced wrestlers and young prospects coming through because the, the end goal is to get these young guys over. Um, CJ Praza will leave him for now. So what's he like? Any good? Uh, another prospect that we could probably hire. Right, let's have a look. Cole Radrick, never heard of him. Um, pretty good, but quite injury prone, I think, by the looks of it. Colt Cabana, obviously, we can't hire him, which is really annoying because he'd be a really good guy to have at the start. Mm, he looks, his physicals and fundamentals are pretty good. We'll hire him. Uh, right, Crash Jackson. He looks like a typical brawler, like a Matt Tremont. 
What's his brawling like? No, his brawling's rubbish. Has he got anything good? Reputation's okay, but other than that, he's not. We're not going to be signing him. Dale Patrick's, um, he's okay, I suppose. 33 years old, we'll give him a miss for now. We don't want to sign everyone because we don't want to have a massive roster to start off with. We can build gradually. Dan the Dad, what a rubbish name. Dan Housen, Dan Housen, sorry. He wants too much, but we'll add him. Uh, don't like, I don't like his face. He looks quite scary. I don't like him. Davy Bang, what a name. Yeah, Davy Bang looks pretty good prospect. Right, Davy Vega. Let's have a look at him. Um, I've heard of Davy Vega before, but yeah, not really doing anything for me. Eddie only, no. Eli, uh, Eli Eisen, I remember from Ring of Honor. I think we'll hire him as a potential mainstream star for us. Eric Ryan, I remember him many years ago. Florida. Eric Smalls, never heard of. Flip Kendrick would be pretty good, similar to Eli Islam. Just uh, a guy that's had experience on the indie scene. Golden Dragon. Could be good for merchandise. Yeah, we'll hire him. We want to sell these Lucha masks. Oh my God, Grindo Loco. Oh, he wants too much. Do you know what? I'm going to make the exception for him. Because I really rate him. I, every time I've seen him wrestle, he just, he just, he's just crazy as hell. So he's the only one I'm going to make the exception on. Um, Isabona. Isabona? No. Isa Brona, sorry. Um, I think he'd be a pretty good fit. Big, strong lad. I've seen photos of him when I tried to... I think I tried. I think I signed him for somebody else. And I saw photos of him and he just looks like an absolute beast. Isaiah um, Vela. I don't, I'm not going to hire him because I can't pronounce his name. That's the general rule with me. Jay Savage, no. Jack Price, no. Jake Chris, how much does he want? He wants a bit too much, but we'll add him to the short list. Jake Dumas. No. Uh, no. Jake something. Hmm. Maybe. What's, how much does he want, though? No. We'll add him to the short list, though. He's also with TNA, but so he probably wants yeah, he's slightly out of our price range. Jay Bradley, I remember him, used to be in WWE, 43 years old, could play a, a grizzled old vet type character. So that's that. Right, Jimmy Young, um, 43, former WCW and WWE star. Let's hire him, only wants 60 a week, which is uh, um, a show, sorry, which is good. Right, Joe Alonso, I think he's pretty good by the looks of it from what I've heard, but no, he's not. Um, Joe Doran wants a bit too much, but we'll add him to the shortlist for now. Josh Prohibition, I remember, oh God, I remember him and M Dog 20. Crazy buggers. Um, skills, yeah, we'll hire him. Could hire him and M Dog Twenty, hopefully, and they can uh, at least because we need some tag teams because I want to have a tag division as well. Right, Joshua Bishop. He only wants forty a show. He's got really good attributes, um, so we'll hire him. J T Dunn, I remember him from P W G. Definitely hire him. I'm surprised how much there is some pretty good talent here. I know what when I when I was looking to see which areas to to do a promotion in, I was impressed by the Great Lakes area because there's quite a lot of wrestlers that have come through there that are pretty good. Lee Johnson, he only wants eighty, so we definitely can sign him. He'd probably be our biggest one of our best like our biggest stars on the show. He's young, he's talented. Um, we definitely could push him as our champion, probably. 
he looks like a big scary man. He's got good brawling as well, which is what we like. So we'll definitely hire him. Uh, Louis Linden used to wrestle for, I think, Ring of Honor. Uh, we're going to pass on him because I feel like we're getting a bit too many. We're getting a bit of a big roster now. He's got pretty good brawling as well. He'd be in a good. He'd be a good tag team with the other guy. I just signed the big beardy guy. Just a bunch of crazy brawlers fighting each other. Madman Pondo, no. Malcolm Munro the third. Let's have a look at him. Is he? Oh, sorry. Um, I was just checking, and I forgot that you can see what I'm seeing. I just want to see if it was still recording. Right, he's he looks really good. Hardcore, he's very good, um, but he's also good in other areas as well. He looks like a standout, he does. Right, so we'll definitely hire him. Um, right, there's not many left on them. Oh no, I've gone too far. Right, let's have a look. Marche Rocket, no. Unless they really stand out now, I'm not going to sign anybody. Matt Cross, there we go. I wanted to sign him, so at least I know I've got one tag team. Ah, he wants 110. Hmm. Will you accept 100? Actually, do you know what? It's only £10. What is it? $10. It's, it's not going to make much difference. Michael Irvin, I won't sign you. You're a piece of SHIT. We'll add you to the shortlist. Mustafa Ali, we'll add you. Myron Reed, we'll add you. See, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's still some good wrestlers here that we can sign. Yeah, Nate Webb, I remember him. He, I always liked Nate Webb. He was always a good wrestler, to be honest. Right, so that's that. Um, Rhino. Rhino wants too much, but we'll definitely add him to the shortlist. Robert Anthony. I remember him as Ego Fantastico. But I don't really rate him that well. We'll add you. Uh, Rush Jones? No. Uh, Ryan Mooney? No. Shane Taylor would be pretty good, actually, to be honest. Shark Boy? Shark Boy would be interesting because of the. Uh, we could probably get sell some shark merchandise. Shark Boy merchandise, sorry. Get the kids buying the masks. Silas Young wants slightly too much money, so we'll just add him to the shortlist for now. As I said, I'm pretty happy with our male roster, and we still could bring in some more down the road. There's quite a lot of wrestlers here. Right, let's have a look at the female side of things then. Right, so we've got Alice Craw uh, Craw uh, Crow Crowley. Crowley. She has pretty good brawling and stuff like that. She's, she looks like a young prospect. We can definitely sign her. Becky Idol. Let's have a look. No, she's rubbish. We're not signing you. Oh, Becky Lynch. Uh, we won't be signing her, but we'll definitely add her to the shortlist. She'd be a dream signing. Billy Starks, she'd be a really good sign, but wants too much. Devon, Devon, Air, Devon Air, she's rubbish. Giselle Shaw might be pretty good. No, she wants too much money. Heather Reckless, maybe. Uh, she'd be all right. We could sign her, I think. I don't not watch TNA, so I don't know what she's like. Jessica Havoc would be pretty good, but again, she wants too much money. Julia Hart, we've already looked at. Katie Arquette. Oh. Right, um, Carla Cassidy, no, Kylie Ray, yep. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Ah, she wants too much money. Maxine Paler, again, wants too much money. I might have to reconsider the, the, the amount I'm willing to pay for talent. Um, she's not very good. Neither. She's pretty good and she only wants 60, so that's good. We might have to start with a small roster of women's wrestlers to start off with. On my Fight Club Pro save, I'm doing offline, 
for the first three or four shows, I only had two, three of my wrestlers. So I've got no issue with that for now. Um, no, she's not very good. She's rubbish. She's rubbish. Oh, for God's sake, go away. Um, I've already signed her. Um, no, she's not very good either. Sky Blue, another dream signing. Chicago, born and bred. Thunder Kitty, a look at you. Mm, she's all right, I suppose. Yeah, we, yeah, we we could sign her too, Elin. She's got decent overall. I think the only thing letting her down is obviously hardcore and uh, Japanese style. I won't pronounce it because I can't pronounce it. So we'll sign her. Right, and obviously we've already signed Vita Von Star. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a sec, ready for our first show. Right, and we're back for our first show of the episode and the first show ever for Second City Wrestling. But first things first is we need to do some titles. So we're just going to do the SCW Heavyweight title. Um, so I'm just going to just click a random belt there. Very nice. Right, and then we're just going to have it as male holders only, men's division only, and have it as a an achievement because obviously it is the biggest title we've got. So that's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have tag team, um, and then we're just going to have. Uh, is that what we'll do? We'll just do that one. Tag team, um, and we'll just leave that as secondary, and we'll have it as male holders only, men's division only. And then finally, what we'll do is very quickly, we'll do a women's title. And that'll do nicely. So we'll have that as the women's one. We'll have female holders only, women's division only. And we'll have it as an achievement as well. Right, so that's the title sorted. And then what we need to do now is we need to see what tag teams we've got if we've got any so we've got a couple so we've got a tag team called the golden gods which is golden dragon and gringo loku so that'd be a nice baby face style tag team and then we've got euthanasia so we've literally only got two tag teams but we'll, we can change that over time but at least we've got two tag teams so at least we can do that if we wanted to um, not that we're going to do many tag team matches because obviously it means more more wrestlers booked. We're going to try and keep the wrestler um, the wrestlers booked down to just three matches, one on ones. So maximum of six wrestlers per show. Hopefully, um, we've we've managed to make an increase in our finances. Let's have a quick look what that's for. Performance six hundred and forty five, sponsors one thousand one hundred and thirty five. So that's good. Um, by the way, I'm not doing the, I'm not going to make my own alliance because I feel like it's slightly cheating. So we'll leave that as now. Maybe down the road I might join an alliance, but we'll see. Uh, commentary, we're just going to probably just have Cliff Compton on his own doing the commentary, like so. And I think that's pretty much it. I will add managers to wrestlers ready for the next uh, episode, but I think. I think that's pretty much it let's have a look at merchandise we're 75 percent away from upgrading it so let's see how we get on in our first show hopefully we'll do well all right let's have a look so what i'm going to do is pick the cheapest one possible so right uh, there we go that'll do the Burwin eagles club can hold 100 people let's see if we can get 100 people in today, probably won't. Um, we'll leave that for now. Locker room instance, no locker room instance, that's always good. Inspire, okay, so let's book our first show. Right, so what I want to do is the first match is um, going to be the women's match. So if we go Mickey Knuckles versus, if it lets me move across, there we go. We'll have her versus Raylin, I think. 
15 minutes we'll just do storytelling keep no we'll leave those that open match leave it so the um, um moving forward i won't be doing this you'll just see when the next episode onwards you'll just see all of this booked offline i'll do it offline and then we'll come back to it it was just a spur of the moment thing so right um i i actually completely forgot <laughs> if i'm honest with you so we'll just do this today and then starting next episode it will be completely different Right, so we'll go Ringo Loco, because he is one hell of a worker. So we'll have him versus um, Atticius Koga, whatever his name is. We'll have them. We'll go 15, we'll go 18 minutes. Hopefully they can do that. We'll go high spots, open match, all out match. Let's hope that we can do that. No, damn Okay, so we can can we do it 15 minutes all that match let's see yeah it's fine right um how many angles do we need to do oh it's fine right um we'll probably need to do one angle afterwards so we'll go main event we'll go jimmy yang versus is lee johnson here there we go lee johnson Twenty minutes. We'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide, and then what we'll do is we'll just have Jimmy Yang attacking Lee Johnson after the match. Right, but Yang attacks Johnson, which is quite funny when you think about it. Uh -huh. um, people with childish sense of humour like me. Right, I think that's it. We just need to. Oh, no, that's not it, actually. Um, can we... No, we can't. We already tried that, didn't we? So we can't tamper with that. See if we can... Can we change that? We can. That's good. It's still two minutes off. So... Uh, I know what I'll do. Change that to seven minutes. Right. Let's start the, sh the first show. So in a in about in a see I get this wrong every time. Is it bout or bolt? I think it's bout. In about they had a good wrestling decent reaction um, from the crowd. Ray Lynn defeated Mickey Knuckles in twenty minutes twenty nine by pinball with the Ray Cray zero or the Ray Cray O. I think it's Ray Cray O. Thirty for the segment, thirty three for the wrestling. Uh, Mickey Knuckles was slightly better in the ring. Match dragged in the middle with lack of flow being noticeable but started the show strong next match was Ringo Loco Ringo Loco defeating um, Atius Koga with the prog splash the match was designed to revolve around a lot of high spots got 46 for the segment 41 for the wrestling um, Gringo Loco standout performer so I think Gringo Loco and Lee Johnson probably be our main stars moving forward and then in the main event um, Lee Johnson defeated Jimmy Yang with the brain dog. Got a 34 for the segment, 39 for the wrestling. Unfortunately, Jimmy Yang sustained a cracked tailbone, which sounds very painful. Um, Jimmy Yang was the better performer out of the two. Cliff Compton could have been better. Todd Sinclair wasn't very good as referee. Maybe I need to get rid of Todd Sinclair then. And then the angle afterwards got a 26. But overall, the show increased the popularity in Ron region. We got overall rating of 36 and 100 people so maybe we were underestimating how many people will turn up maybe we'll go 200 people next show we'll, we'll try and get an arena of 200 people so we'll go lee johnson give some encouragement i think jimmy yang point out as a good example let's hope that works okay that's fine they're happy with that injury so jimmy yang is out for 30 days which is a shame so let's look at the finances so obviously we didn't make anything in tv in ticket sales because it was free hence why we probably got a big crowd come in um cost us 670 pounds to bring the workers in 287 for show cost 75 for marketing so overall loss was 1111 but i'm hoping eventually that it will 
our popularity will go up quicker and then we can get a TV deal and then that will keep us going financially but not too bad for the first show um, and what I'll do is I will leave it as that for today and then next week will it'll be, it'll be a lot more better organized episode next week um, unfortunately I had something traumatic happen this morning my dog got attacked my uh, next door neighbor's dog so it kind of it's kind of messed with my head a bit to be honest he's all right though so don't worry he's all right um, but it was just horrific watching him getting attacked by these dogs as you can imagine anybody with a dog who's probably been through that so yeah so I'm sorry if I'm not being at my best I've got I've got shingles as well which I don't know where that's come from but yeah so this first episode is not very good but I just didn't want to keep delaying recording this episode so that's why I've done it today it's not the best but I feel like it's enough but it's 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 good enough um so I'm hoping you lot will see that and then next episode will be better I'll be in hopefully I'll be feeling better and um I won't have other things going on in my head anyway thank you for anybody who has watched this episode to the end I do appreciate it leave, uh, leave a comment if there's any anything you want to add um, any wrestlers that you think would be good signings in the Great Lakes area just let me know but on that note I'm going to call it a day thank you very much all the best bye